Hi, my name is Nisarga Kadam. Today, we are going to see the demonstration of version control using UiPath. And in this demonstration, I am going to show you how you can push your workflow to Git repository and how you can pull the repository and utilize the same project which has been pushed to Git. Also, how you can add a contributor to your Git repository and how easy it is to utilize the version controlling and manage the version controlling in UiPath projects. So this is my Git overview. As you can see, I have already 13 repositories uploaded. Now, I have a workflow which I have demonstrated yesterday in one of the video about the inverse document extract using ML. Now let's say I want to share this workflow with every one of you. In order to connect it or push it to Git as a repository, what do I have to do? So first step, go to your Git repository and say create a new repository. As soon as you say new repository, give it a name. So let's say I'll give it a name as uh, ML extractor UI path invoice. ML, let's say invoice extractor underscore UI path. In the description, you can add the details of what exactly this project is about and you can add all the information here. I'll just, uh, for the demonstration, I'll just add a simple detail such as uh, machine learning extractor for extracting information out of out of invoice pdf all right now you can create this repository as a public or private so once you create it as a private it remains with you nobody can see it publicly by searching so you can watch the repository and you can pull and the person whom you have given as a contributor access can pull the repository. Now, as of now, I'm keeping it as public and you might want to check this, initialize this repository with readme. You have to add a readme document or you don't. So it's not mandatory. Now, create a repository. Once you create a repository, it will show you a blank repository like this with the readme document where a detailed extraction will be, uh, your description will be displayed here below. What you have to do is you have to copy this URL and now let's go back to the studio. Now my this workflow, I want to push it to Git in order to share it with everyone. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on home, team, Git in it. Now I'm going to click on machine learning invoice extraction. As you can see, it's in the team, Git in it. Select the folder and then it shows you all the files. Now. Select the files which you want to upload and unselect the files which you don't want to upload. I'm going to write a commit message. Now, every time you commit, you have to write a message while you're committing these changes. So this time I'll say just for demonstration, first commit of ML extractor IDP. IDP is intelligent document processing. Now I'll say commit and push. Now while committing, you need to copy the URL of the Git repository which you have created in the URL here. Now copy this URL, this part, and just give it a name. Then say add and save. Now once you save, as you're committing to Git, uh, for the first time, you have to enter the username and password. So this username and password is nothing but the username and password for Git repository. So I'm going to enter my password. I hope it's not visible. And okay. Now the current branch is out of date. It's okay. Overwrite the remote control. So once you do that, it, it is showing you pushing the changes and that's it. Refresh. You can see that there's a small icon which shows that it has connectivity with the Git. And how do you know that? Let's go back to the URL, refresh. And you have your entire workflow with the project on Git. Now, how do you get the information uh, or how do you get this entire project in your particular studio? and how do you work on it and how do you make the changes and commits. So we'll see that. Now let's go to a UiPath instance. Now go to team and I want to clone a repository. So this time I'm going to say clone repository and I'm going to remove this. I'm going to remove this. Uh, that was by default enter. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy the same URL. Now you might have this URL when I'm going to share it with you. So what you do is just enter repository URL here then enter checkout directory. Now, in order to enter checkout directory, uh, you can select 
which directory you want. Let's say I select this directory. Uh, let's say I create a new project here, a new folder here. So I'll say sample IDP or let's say sample git. I'll open this folder and I'll select this folder and that should do. And then I'm going to say open. Now, if your repository is private, then you might have to use the credentials. Now let's see, we have a public repository. So is it working? Just click on open. Now you need credentials. So you can, if let's say you are a contributor, then you can utilize your own credentials. Otherwise, if you're not a contributor for the project, which is a private repository, you have to enter credentials of a person who has uploaded the workflow. Now I'm opening, and as you can see, I have the similar workflow in my studio. Now, how do I make the changes? And how do I add the contributor, which I'm talking about? So let's go back to this workflow. As you can see, in this particular repository, as I'm logged in with my credentials, I have pushed the project. So I can go back to contributors. I can go to settings. And I can say manage access. In the manage access, you can invite a collaborator. Now by typing name of collaborator, let's say I'm adding Sripad as a collaborator here. So you can see the person, click on the name and say add to repository and once it will trigger email for acceptance to Sripad and once he accepts he will be able to work or he'll be able to download with his credentials and he'll be able to use it if my project or repository is a private repository so the private and public was just a checkpoint at the beginning while creation now talking about the committing the changes let's say I make certain change let's say here I'm going to add a simple right line or let's say a comment I'm going to add a comment here and in this comment I'm going to mention commit demo I'm going to say okay save now this time I'm going to click on project panel click here right click and say commit now once you say commit you just say a uh, new commit with comment activity so you have to mention the details every time you commit and say commit and push. And once you do that, you go back to the repository here, refresh and you can see there are two commits now. So click on the commits and you can see latest commit 19 seconds ago. So this is how you manage version controlling with Git as integrated with UiPath, which is very easy. Now you can go ahead and download the project which I have created yesterday from this link, which I will be posting along with this YouTube video. Thank you so much for watching this video. Happy automation.